man, there's some bizarre stuff going on in our magnetosphere. This simulation uh, picks up energy, shows you the, the the shape of our magnetosphere, and shows you how suddenly something happened. Look at that. Uh, what what the heck just happened? Now these events have occurred before, but what we're seeing is unprecedented number of them and they just keep getting bigger in scale. The magnetosphere swells up. It pushes away from Earth. What could be doing that? And the energy being created is in fact significant. And it almost looks as if there's energy coming at us almost slightly off to the left and pushing back against the magnetosphere and creating an interaction that swells the energy in the tail stream, albeit not in front of the Earth, except for when we get three and four bow compression zones and magnetic field rings suddenly show up during this major expansion that we see accompanied with a surge in energy. That er energy is measured in joules. That's a little legend on the lower right. And we do see rings and rings kind of forming all around, even in geosynchronous orbit. And it's events like this that shut down our satellites. They're shutting down uh, you know, several times a week almost like a circuit breaker being tripped. They're going into safe mode. And it's not just one satellite. So these events are affecting us. And the radiation is a threat, especially to younger children or compromised adults. The radiation penetrates easily through your eyeballs can inflame your sinuses and create very sharp pain behind your eye. But it also can inflame your brainstem, not very well protected. So these x-rays can inflame the most active part of the brain, your brainstem. When that inflammation happens there, you will get headaches behind the head, pressure behind the head, stiff neck. And then as that progresses, affects the completely opposite side of your brain, right behind your eyeballs. We're trying to figure out what was happening because our, our electron simulators weren't picking up these massive saturations. They were only pulsing in on the simulations, sometimes in double pulses, two at a time, which screams helium ionization. But we're not seeing the oversaturation when we look down on the solar system using this simulation, sun off to the right, we see the rippling of our magnetic field when, when it gets impacted by particles coming from the sun. And, you know, they'll, they'll keep saying we're having geomagnetic storms, but they, they'll keep saying during those geomagnetic storms, what do they say? And the NOAA reports background protons protons at background levels protons at background level so what we're seeing are electrons without protons which generally never happened in in the old days but but you can see the there's reversals in the tail stream and reversals in the tail stream again reeks of Electrons being spiraled in, being drawn in, and around our magnetic field. Our north and south poles are funneling some electrons right into our polar regions. Both the North Pole and the South Pole have been doing this. Funneling these electrons, and you can see the vectors spinning and spiraling before your eyes, in the tail stream, reversing direction. But then all of a sudden, there's a discharge. 
boom, into the tail stream. Looks like a cannonball sometimes. Looks like a shotgun blast other times. And those vectors suddenly turn and accelerate away from Earth in the proper direction. But that's a pretty sustained reversal. And it comes because of those vortices that are spiraling. So it's no doubt that's a lot of energy. And I want to tell you that our magnetosphere did not look like this. I mean, with energy on the left and no energy on the right, or just along the magnetic field line itself. And we do see particles streaming in, and we know now those are helium, not protons. And the reason we know they're not protons is because they're, they're none showing up. So we have no protons showing up, no solar wind showing up. Solar wind speed, 350, 400 kilometers a second. Tops, maybe 450 tops. And, and yet we're getting an energy event and an events happening in our magnetosphere. Currently, our sun's magnetic fields look about as normal as they've been. What's up with that? But if you notice the bottom coronal hole at the south pole of the sun, the magnetic field line is fanned out flat and then curved back down to where it's supposed to be headed. Something's disrupting that. And that something is a brown dwarf fragment that has crossed our asteroid belt, slung all kinds of asteroids in our direction, and the bolides, the iron asteroids, get caught in our magnetic field lines too. And they get funneled in, much like a particle does. So, with no protons, no coronal hole streams, no CMEs, we're having a major, major event happening in our magnetosphere. And due to the weakness of our sun's wind, maybe that's allowing external wind to creep in and create particle interaction. But when you see on the X-ray monitors that the background X-ray radiation from, let's say, 1 to 7 nanometers is no longer existent, or 0.1 nanometers not existent at least when looking at the sun then we know that that energy being created in our solar system is coming from particle interaction and not originating from the sun itself but that's a lot of energy you are witnessing on this simulation and it's all being funneled and collected in the tail stream which shouldn't happen because the particles would have to run upstream against the sun's particles. So stay out, stay out indoors, protect your brainstem, drink chlorophyll. CoQ10 is expensive. You can drink that too. Wear as much sunblock as you can and protect yourself from this radiation. And keep your kids out of the sun. Because it will, it will um, create oxygen-free radicals in the brainstem and kill off brain cells. And that's been proven. And we've shown you those articles on previous videos. But what a light show, hey? And I've always said I've been enjoying the light show. And I've come, the dimming of the solar system bugs me because I live up where you should see billions of stars. And so they've dimmed because of the interstellar medium that is washing through our solar system. Kind of brightening the background sky and obscuring sources of light.